What's good, YouTube? You're in the building with the all knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful. Just damn all everything. The sexy as hell host. We're bringing you another Life Games cord cutting this week, talking about all the great news that has happened in the world of cord cutting, above ground that is. And I will leave links in the video description to all the stories I'm talking about so that you guys can go and read a little more if you want to do that. But before we do that, I got to put on the plus seven glasses of the sexy as hell. Work on skilling up my craft, giving y'all a better YouTube experience, something better to look at. Um, sponsors of this video, the two week diet plan for those of you trying to get in shape before the new year's, y'all know how that rush hits. Check it out in the video description link. And also HD IPTV, they're in the video description link offering you everything you're seeing. So ladies and gentlemen, what have we learned about the cord cutting movement? The cost of cable is going up. They are losing subscribers left and right. And we've kind of talked about why we felt like they were losing them, but they're not listening. So instead of dropping price, they're going up. Now check this out. Over the last three months, a million people have canceled their cable packages. Think about that. A million people have canceled cable in the last three months. I know that has got to be tearing into pieces. And from 2010, the cost of cable has gone up by 50%. The average cable bill right now is $107 a month. I think somewhere the numbers say that 11,000 people are canceling cable a day. And what are people doing? They're going to on-demand services. They're going to underground services. They're going to all these various cord cutting services. Which brings me back to what kind of cord cutter are you? I didn't even know that we was categorized, but there are three types of cord cutters. There's the cord cutter that likes to get on-demand services such as Netflix, Hulu, that type thing. You have your cord cutter that likes to get uh, live streaming TV services such as AT&T, DirecTV Now, or um, Sling. And then you have the hardcore cord cutter who ain't paying for nothing, which I would say is the underground folks, um, the people that just like to get freebies on the internet and use YouTube. But I want you guys to leave me a comment. Which type of cord cutter are you? And just kind of let me know how you feel about that. And so having said that, with those three type of cord cutters, Sling and DirecTV have also been losing cord cutters with their cord cutting services. And what do you guys think are the reasons why that's happening? Uh, just leave me some comments down below so we can kind of have a discussion about it and make some more topics going forward. And the last issue I'm gonna cover this week in cord cutting review, what's going on in trends. The NFL may get dropped from DirecTV and do a standalone product. They've got some kind of a clause, and a lot of y'all might not even know that DirecTV was offering the NFL Sunday ticket because they only came out in a handful of select cities. Do you guys have it or did you guys know about that? Leave me some comments below. But the thing going on with it, um, the NFL, when they did their contract with DirecTV, they had a clause in there that said you could only promote us in a, a certain handful of cities. And by doing that, you give them the option if they want to go forward, they can create their own streaming service. Now, they are really talking about doing that streaming service. <laughs> However, even if they did do the streaming service, they still would have to stick with AT&T for at least one more year. Y'all know AT&T does the direct TV service, and that would be what they would have to stick with as they're starting their own standalone service. Now, there are a lot of people out there who are big NFL fans. They haven't really said what the price is gonna be, but I would love to know what do you guys think should be an acceptable price. I'm looking that they're probably gonna kick around somewhere around 25 to 35, maybe even $40 a month to give you 24 seven NFL access you can get all the games Thursday through Monday. And would you guys be willing to pay just for the NFL ticket 
$35 to $45? Leave me some comments below. But that is a quick synopsis of what's going on in the world of cord cutting, the various trends. Again, links to these stories will be in the video description. Go check it out. And that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, and subscribe. Go get yourself that life game. Let me know what other trends you guys see going on in cord cutting by leaving me comments so we can have a discussion about it. I'm going to start doing more of the above ground cord cutting just because of the the dynamic nature of cord cutting and all the things that are happening and to try to keep you guys informed. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.